Draco 6 TV on air. We are now live. What's good, you guys? Shrocker CX TV talking to you right now. Welcome back to the Pokemon Wi Fi Battle Subscribers Tournament. This is the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finals. This took like a couple of weeks. I think it took the entire month to get where we are now. Let's refresh our memories what our participants are fighting for. They are fighting for shiny Pokemon. First place, a shiny Entei. Second place, a shiny Gudra. Whoever becomes runner up will have the option to get a special attack in Gudra or a physical attacking Gudra. You have the option to tell me which one do you want. Not both, just one. Then third place gets a shiny Honage. And whoever becomes a winner has the option to battle me for the championship battle to earn a second shiny Entei. I feel like I'm forgetting something before another important topic, but I can't remember what, but whatever. Anyways, this is the final battle. First off, we will get to see Bowser 287 versus Shadow for the fight of third place. Before I show you the video, let me say this once. The upcoming video recording you will see is my third attempt of recording the gameplays of both sides. What I mean is that I see Shadow and Bowser Jewels battle and Gaming Charizard vs Nameless battles three times, three times in a row. Because during the first recording, I played the video, but after I finished the commentary, I had full such surprise reactions that as soon as I was done, I look at Xplit and then I realize I forgot to record it. I'm like, oh my god, I wasted a good, a good reaction of what just happened, what just went down. I wasted a good reaction and I didn't record it. Oh my god. So then the next day, uh, what day is it? On Wednesday, a second attempt. And then today, this is Thursday, I checked the video, I thought I was actually done, I recorded, I had the mic on, and then I realized the audio, my vocal, my vocal audios was crap, it sounded like crap. I'm like, what the heck just happened, the mic's on, why did I sound like that? So this is my third attempt, and the audio recording is actually good, so yeah, my third recording, not much reaction, but this is what the play-by-play the -play right there. In the left side, we got Shadow. On the right side, Bossa Joy 87. Bossa Joy 87 has sent a Scizor, Emble, Hydra God, two shiny Pokemon. Meanwhile, Shadow has sent out Charizard, Whimsicott, and Infernape. Uh oh, what's this now, ladies and gentlemen? He has switched for Charizard. Here we go now. Mega Evolution! Mega Charizard Y has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We're followed by the ability Drow. This will give Fire type Pokemon an advantage. Followed by if anyone with Solar Beam. Here we go now. Charizard Y use Heat Wave. Super effective. Scissors on the battle. That's one down. Julio. Vasa Joy is trying to set out Manatrix. Shiny Manatrix. Damn. Uh oh. Shout out as, as, what's the word? He switched for Arcanine. He switched Charizard Y for Arcanine. This will, Arcanine's ability to intimidate. Lowering Manatrix attack. This may give the advantage for Arcanine with the drought on. Here we go. Mega Evolution. Since he, had, since he did switch out with Arcanine, he loses a turn. But, let's see what Manatrix does. His ability is intimidate. Lowering Arcanine's attack. Huh. Intimidate, huh? I always thought they would do something better. But anyways, Manatrix used Thunderbolt. That did some damage. I didn't expect that. And he has switched for Infernape and used Fake Out. Now, Manatrix has been flinched and Infernape is Life Orb. Manatrix used Thunderbolt. It did some... Whoa! He lived! Infernape used Fire Punch. Will it be enough? Whoa! It must be the drought, ladies and gentlemen. Manatrix on the battle. Whoa! Wait, wait, whoa! Damn, he lived with 6 HP. But anyways, Julio, Bossa Joy has sent out Conkeldor Liberator. The shiny Conkeldor Liberator. 
Yeah, uh, shout out Switch for Whimsicott and use Moonblast against the fighting type Conkeldor. Super effective and lowers the special attack. Liberator use Naka. Not very effective for the fairy grass type Pokemon Whimsicott. But that was a crit? Oh well, it took out the leftovers and the sunlight fade. Yes, now switch for Ambor. Ambor, use Flare Blitz. Will it be enough? Of course it is. Super effective. It is a grass type after all. Whimsicott's on the battle. It's 5 to 4, or is it 4 5 to 5? I don't know. Whatever happens, anyways. Uh, he has sent out Togekiss, nicknamed Hector, which I do not understand the reference. But, Ember used Flare Blitz against Togekiss. It lived in the red HP. What the heck's going on? Ember has received recoil damage, and Togekiss used Dazzling Gleam. It lived! 1 HP! Both trainers switched their Pokemon. Arcanine used Extreme Speed. It was targeting against Ambor, but it expected a switch. Hydreigon used Heat Wave. Will it be enough? Not very effective, but... Wait! Not very effective- Oh, that was a crit! A crit matter, ladies and gentlemen. Because if it was a normal fi fire, it would probably- He pro Wait, he probably lived it, but... What is this I'm seeing? What is this I'm seeing right here? A shining Latios. No, 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 no. Shadow, you're disqualified for bringing out legal Pokemon to the tournament. Sure, I accept a Victini or Jirachi, but they were they were in. Latios is banned. Latios is banned. All all the rules are in the description. You did so good, but you broke. Want the one main rule, and Latios is in the banned Pokemon list. Jirachi, Victini, Mew, anything that's small, they're okay. They're okay. But bringing a legendary Pokemon that's bigger, Latios, Landorus, um, Ultra, Zapdos, Entei, they're banned. I don't care about their stats at all. They're legendary. They're bigger, they're powerful. Doesn't matter, they're banned. They're banned. Uh, there's no point now, cause yeah, I'm just gonna stop the video here. Boston Jewel 87 takes third place, ladies and gentlemen, and one he has won the shiny ponage. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Buster Jewel 87 becomes third place winner. Now, I don't want to hear any losers saying that this tournament is lame. If you broke a rule, you brought this to yourself. If you didn't read the rules, then that's your fault because I always say in my videos, or someone else say in their videos, that it's important to watch it throughout the entire video. Anyways, let's move on to the next round, shall we? The battle you have waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. The final round, who will become winner? Gaming Charles on the left, Nameless on the right, Nameless sent out Arcanine, Shandalore, and Togekiss. Meanwhile, Gaming Charles has sent out Venusaur, Cloyster, and Makuhita. Whoa, triple shinies in a rotation battle. Arcanine's ability to intimidate, throwing Majin Buu, the Makuhita's attack. Meanwhile, Makuhita used Fake Out to flinch the Arcanine. He has switched Pokemon. Arcanine used Flare Blitz against the Ice Water type. Cloyster. It did some damage, but not enough. Uh, Arcanine's Life Orb. Meanwhile, Cloyster used Shell Smash. We've seen this in the previous round, ladies and gentlemen. I believe the round two or the doubles battle. But anyways, lowers defense, special defense, and raises the attack, special attack, and speed. And Cloyster used Rock Blast. Super effective! Ladies and gentlemen, that special boost, that boost that was definitely effective. I don't know what was the right word. Uh, Nameless has set out Fixie, the Sylveon. Char Game Charts has switched for the Venusaur. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mega Evolution. Mega Venusaur has arrived. 
What will happen now? Venusaur, you sludge bomb! It was super effective against Vixie. Meanwhile, Vixie used Hyper Voice. Not very effective. Is, isn't Hyper Voice a normal type and Sylveon's ability is Pixelate, which makes normal type moves fairy type? I don't know. But, anyways, both sides have switched Pokemon. Togekiss, use Thunder Wave. Okay, if this Makuhita's guts, that'll be something else. But he's paralyzed. Makuhita's paralyzed! We should have done better with the Air Slash. Uh, Cloyster! He has switched for Cloyster and used Rock Blast! One! Two! Three! Three strikes! You're out! That was a crit! God damn! Pokekiss is on the battle! That's two Pokemon down. Let's see what happens. It's six to four. Uh, Nameless has sent out Shaman. Shaman is okay. He's small. And let's see what happens to Shaman. He's on in the battle. And that's why small legendary Pokemon are okay. Nameless has sent out Drax. The Tyranitar. The shiny Tyranitar. What makes it shiny anyway? Is it just the color of the, of the stomach? Anyways, his ability is Sandstream, giving us a sandstorm in this arena. Here he goes. Mega Evolution. Mega Tyranitar has arrived. Let's see what happens. Cloyster used Icicle Spear. One. Two. That was a crit. Damn. Three. Four. Five. Five times, ladies and gentlemen. And he's flinch! Is this Cloyster King's Rock? King's Rock is a held item move that, that may lead a Pokemon to flinch. Anyways, Cloyster, use Icicle Spear. One. Two. Crit again! What the heck is this? Sylveon's on the battle! What happens now? What will happen now? Whoa, 33 health. Oh, this is it, ladies and gentlemen! Uh-oh. Is this... Is this it? One. Two. Three. That was a crit! Four! Four times! Tyranitar is on in the battle! I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot win this! You cannot win with six Pokemon! Oh my god! Gaming Charizard has not yet lost any Pokemon! Here he goes! One! Two! That was not a crit, but damn! Three! Three strikes are out! Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a winner! And his name is Gaming Charizard! Oh my god! Six Pokemon! And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Gaming Charizard takes first place. Meanwhile, Nameless took second place. And Boss of Jewel 87 takes third place. I will message the winners of the tournament, the first place, the second place, the third place winners on my friend code. They will send me theirs. They will get the shiny Pokemon. And I will ask Gaming Charizard if he wants to have a battle for the 600 video special to see if he wants to win that second shiny Entei. But that video won't be go up until I hit 600 subscribers. I wish I can do another Pokemon tournament, but I got nothing to offer. I got no other good shiny Pokemon besides I got another duplicate of a shiny Sylveon and a shiny Growlithe. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, comment on this performance. If you're new, if you're in like what you see, click the subscribe button. This is Shrock with CXTV and I'm signing out.